Hey everyone and welcome to another Warframe video where we're going to be taking a look at a focus farming setup I've been experimenting with after talking with one of my clan mates. And I thought that with the focus changes in update 22.6 that dropped today, what better time to make a video on this. And that is an alternative to Equinox that everybody talks about. And this is going to be a Savage Silence Banshee combined with the Maiming Strike Whip. Now when people talk about focus farming setups, everyone immediately thinks of the ones that have been extensively covered. Um, you've got Spider Equinox sleeping everything in sight, Ivara Sleep Arrow, um, plus using a dagger, or Banshee on Hydron, even Megamu's Mesa on the plains, but I've never really seen anyone cover the effectiveness of a Savage Silence Banshee. Honestly, the setup here is pretty simple, doesn't need builds that are hyper specific like some do. Most of the mods used are mods that you're going to be using normally anyway, apart from maybe the Banshee build, although none of the mods on the frame are hard to get hold of. So, let's quickly run over the build for Banshee, mostly duration with a little bit of range. Steel charge in the aura to give us more melee damage, prime continuity and a half rank narrow minded to not kill range too much and give us extra duration. Um, stretch and cunning drift to counter narrow minded plus add a little bit of extra range to help you with the silence. Enemy sense for enemy radar to help see where the enemies are. Rush to speed up your movement and help you get through it a bit quicker. Streamline for a bit of efficiency. And then Savage Silence to buff our finisher damage. Make sure everything hit by Silence is basically a one-shot kill. I had extra room on here, so I decided to go with Coaction Drift for boosting the aura effectiveness up just a little bit. It's not a particularly hard build to replicate at all. Maybe only now reminded being the one that might be a bit of a pain in the backside, because you might not have a half-ranked one. I always have a couple of spares of each of the Corrupted mods for builds like this. However, you could switch things around, go with Max Narrow Minded, you could replace Stretch or Cunning Drift with Overextended, and then counter that Power Strength loss with a Power Strength mod. Otherwise, you're going to drop the damage buff from Savage Silence down with the Power Strength loss. Um, or if you can do the build that I've shown you, the original build, it does work out a lot better, but there are options if you wish to switch it up a bit. In terms of the whip, I would normally go with the Secure Elector or the Atarax. The only reason you see me using a Soliac in the footage is that you can get some seriously good ribbons for it because of the disposition. With mine, I've got 360% additional range and more heat damage, so I can replace an elemental mod with my ribbon. For the most part though, the Soliac really is garbage without a ribbon, so the other two whips I would go for. The build for those are a bit more expensive, it needs a decent amount of prime mods, Prime Pressure Points on there, Berserker for attack speed, Primed Reach for extra range, Drifting Contacts on there to keep our combo counter up, Maiming Strike for crit on slide attacks, Organ Shatter for crit damage, and then I'm running Radiation with Molten Impact and Shocking Touch, so our slides are going to 100% one-shot those Bombards. Honestly, it's a pretty standard build for a slide attacking whip now. It doesn't really need Blood Rush on here to increase crit chance, because this build is going to one-shot everything with the finisher buff from Banshee anyway so it's really not needed. Got the same build on my Atarax as well, and honestly, it's really personal preference which of the two whips you go for here. I like the Secure Electric because you get a few more credits at the same time, so what's not to like? So how do you go about making the most out of this setup? Well, honestly, it's super simple. You activate three, and then you spin to win. I don't even bother worrying about stealth mod suppliers for the most part. I just go crazy on them, and you can see for the most part, I keep those multipliers up, and even when I lose them, I regain them fairly quickly and then you make up for the ones that you lost with the multiplier low and you make up with that with um, speed and basically just killing lots more rather than slowing down and being precise like you do with an equinox to tell you the truth the runs from the footage in the background now actually weren't the best i've had much higher numbers than that you can actually see a screenshot of a decent run in the background now sadly i wasn't recording this one because i was still perfecting builds and things like that RNG is still going to be a bit of a deciding factor, like when it spawns the focus crystal. It could be just after a room full of bad guys, or just before, and that can lead to quite a bit of fluctuation between good runs and bad runs. But like this, honestly, I can actually max out my focus in about 10 or 15 minutes because I just don't hang around. I blitz through these missions as quickly as I possibly can, and I just don't slow down no matter what. Just keep on sliding. You can even use your RNG cat to boost your XP numbers. I use carrier because of vacuum grabbing energy orbs, but you can effectively double the number of the um, focus that you get if the RNG kicks in at the right time. You can tell that because on the indicator in the top right, it will say 120. You have 120 seconds worth of effectively 
double XP and it will double the focus you gain and that stacks with the uh, the affinity booster as well so you can get some truly truly ridiculous numbers the other thing that works is affinity spike from Naramon that's going to buff your XP gain by melee by 45% as, as soon as you go out into your operator form and then back into your frame this actually stacks with everything else it stacks with RNG cat it stacks with your affinity booster and this is actually part of the reason why you can get some of these insane incredible numbers from these focus or crystals I'll be honest with you I don't like the way we gain focus I can't stand the convergence orb at all the Equinox strat is effective, but honestly, I find it fairly boring to do. The Banshee strat, however, I found so much fun, and honestly, even if they change the way Daily Cap works, as long as focus is tied to Infinity, the Stealth strat is always going to be king. So unlike the Wukong video, which is already patched two days after posting the video, this is unlikely to be redundant. It's always nice to have options when doing things like focus farming, and I'm going to have a video talking about my thoughts on focus and what I would love to see change in the next few days. Feel free to let me know how you go about your focus farming, what strats you have that are working out nicely for you. However, for now, I hope that you get some enjoyment out of using Banshee for your daily focus needs. Thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.